Uh, what we're going to do today is look at the difference between the least common multiple, which is commonly referred to as the LCM, and compare it with the GCF, which is the greatest common factor. Now we're going to start with the greatest common factor, but first we have to know what a factor is. A factor is simply that can equally fit inside another number. For example, if we took a look at the number 10, we know that we can produce 10 by multiplying 1 and 10 and also by multiplying 2 and 5. So all of these individual numbers are factors of 10 because they can be equally divided into 10. So a factor is something that goes inside another number. Let's take a look at factors that fit inside the number 25. One factor pair that will produce 25 is 1 and 25. And another pair is 5 times 5. Now if you take a look at the number 10 and 25 and identify factors that are common to 10 and 5, we would say that 1 is a common factor. In fact, 1 is common to all numbers. 5 is also a common factor. And those are the only common factors to 10 and 25. And out of those common factors, 5 is the greatest common factor. Let's take a look at two more numbers. So let's say, for example, you have the number 24. And let's say we have the number 36. If I write the factor pairs of 24, 1 and 24 would produce 24. 2 times 12. 3 times 8. And 4 times 6. For 36, we have 1 times 36. 2 times 18. 3 times 12. 4 times 9 and 6 times 6. Now let's identify all of the common factors. Like we said before, 1 is a common factor of all numbers. Because 24 and 36 are both even numbers, 2 is a common factor as well. 3 is also a common factor. 4 is another common factor. We also have 6 as a common factor. And the last factor, which is the biggest common factor of both numbers, is 12. So we would say that the greatest common factor, or the GCF of 24 and 36, is equal to 12. Now this is one way that you can find the GCF of two numbers. You can make a factor list like this identify all of your common factors and figure out which one of those common factors is the greatest. However, I'm going to show a different method for finding the GCF. So this time I am going to write the numbers 24 and 36 side by side, separated by a comma. And then I'm going to draw an upside down bracket. It looks like a divide by symbol but upside down. Now sometimes some students aren't sure just by glancing at the numbers what the GCF is by just looking at the numbers. Some people can. They can look at 24 and 36 and say, oh I know that 12 is the biggest number that fits into both. But other students have a hard time because they might struggle with basic multiplication tables. So if that's the case, you can actually start with any common factor other than the number 1 and eventually get to the GCF. For example, someone may recognize that 6 is common to 24 and 36. So I'm going to write a 6 on the outside here, and then I'm going to divide 6 into 24. 6 goes into 24 four times, and I'm going to write that at the bottom, right underneath 24. And we are going to do the same thing with 6 into 36. 6 goes into 36 six times, so we are going to write a 6 below here. 
When you get two new numbers at the bottom, you have to examine them closely and figure out if there's any other common factor that will fit inside those two numbers. Because 4 and 6 are both even, we should recognize that the number 2 is common to both of those. So I'm going to write a 2 on the outside, and once again write how many times that factor fits inside each number below. 2 can be divided into 4 twice, and 2 may be divided into 6 three times. Once again, we examine the two numbers we have at the bottom. If the only common factor of those two numbers is the number 1, then you are done. And in this case, 1 is the only factor of 2 and 3 that is common. So we can stop right there. Now what we do at this point is take all of the common factors we wrote on the outside here. If you have more than one like we do in this case, simply multiply those together and that is going to give you the GCF. And 6 times 2 is equal to 12. So the GCF of 24 and 36 is equal to 12. And what's kind of cool about doing this method of finding the GCF is this. Whenever you guys have a fraction and you are asked to simplify or express in lowest terms, really what you do is you divide the numerator and the denominator by the GCF. And this is actually a way that you can reduce fractions. So if we treat 24 comma 36 as a fraction, let me just write a slash here, the two numbers you get at the bottom is actually your answer. If we reduce 24 over 36, it is two-thirds. So this method of finding the greatest common factor is also a way to reduce fractions to the lowest terms. All right, now let's take a look at the LCM or least common multiple. Now a multiple is simply taking a number such as 8 and counting by that number or adding it to itself. For example, 8 plus 8 is 16. 16 plus 8 more is 24. 24 plus 8 is 32. 32 plus 8 is 40. Next would be 48. Next would be 56. After that, you would have 64. And we'll stop right there. Now let's find some multiples of the number 12. After 12 would be 24, and then 36. And after that would be 48. After 48 is 60, and then 72 and 84. Now with multiples we can continue our list on forever. I just decided to stop right here. And what we want to do is find any matches in each one of these lists. And the first match is 24. The next match is 48. We would call these matches common multiples. And the first match or the smallest number is the LCM. So we would say that the LCM of 8 and 12 is equal to 24. So the first match on your list is going to be the LCM. Now, there's another way that you can find the LCM by using the method that we used previously, finding the greatest common factor. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take our same two numbers that we just found the LCM of and write them side by side. And to find the LCM of 8 and 12, you can actually start by finding the greatest common factor first, and then there is something that we are going to do with the greatest common factor. So I'm going to draw that upside down division sign. On the outside, I'm going to write a number that fits inside both of these. And most people would recognize right away that 4 is the biggest number that fits inside 8 and 12. You could start with 2 if you wanted to, but most people would recognize that 4 is the greatest common factor straight away. 4 can be divided into 8 twice, and 4 can be divided into 12 three times. Now 4 is the greatest common factor of 8 and 12, but I said that we can use that greatest common factor to actually find the LCM of 8 and 12. And here's what you do. 
You take that GCF, in this case, which is 4, and you multiply it by both numbers that you have at the bottom here. And at the bottom, we have a 2 and a 3. So we are going to multiply our greatest common factor of 4 by 2 and 3. 4 times 2 is 8, and 8 times 3 is equal to 24. So using this method is another way to find the LCM. Let's try another example. This time we are going to take the two numbers 32 and 48. And the first thing that I want to do is find the GCF of those two numbers. And after I have figured out what the greatest common factor is, we are going to find the least common multiple of those two numbers. So let's start by writing our upside down division symbol. And on the outside, writing a common factor of 32 and 48. One thing that I recognize that fits into both is the number 8. 8 may be divided into 32 exactly four times, and 8 is divisible into 48 a total of six times. Now, remember, we have to look at our two numbers at the bottom and see if there are any other common factors remaining other than the number 1. And because 4 and 6 are both even, we should recognize that the number 2 is divisible into both. 2 goes into 4 twice, and 2 goes into 6 three times. Now we are done because the only common factor is one of the two numbers at the bottom. So we take our numbers on the outside here, multiply them together, and that gives us 16. That is our greatest common factor. And to find the least common multiple, we take the greatest common factor of 16, and we are going to multiply it by both of our numbers at the bottom. So I'm going to start by multiplying 2 and 3, which is 6, and then we are going to multiply 16 by 6. So I am going to go off to the side here and multiply 16 by 6. 6 times 6 is 36. Carry our 3. 6 times 1 is 6, plus 3 is 9. So if we were to count by 32s and count by 48s, the first match in both of our lists would be 96. So this method is a great way to find the greatest common factor of two numbers as well as the least common multiple. You can also use it to reduce fractions to lowest terms. If you were asked to reduce 32 over 48 to lowest terms, you would say that it is equal to 2 thirds.